Question number 11 read, a man shared 12,000 naira among his three children in the ratio of 2 ratio 3 ratio 5. How much does the eldest child receive? So this is a ratio question. To solve this kind of question, the first thing we need to get is the sum of, of the ratio. So as you can see from the equation, the ratio that is given is 2 ratio 3 ratio 5. So the sum of ratio is going to be 2 plus 3 plus 5 which is going to give us 10. So the next thing we're going to get from the equation is the actual money that the man uh, share. So the actual money from the equation is 12,000 Naira. So the next thing we're going to do is to divide this actual money by the sum of the ratio. So we're going to have 12,000 Naira divided by the sum of the ratio, which is going to be 10. So if you do this division, is going to give us 1200 so this is what we're going to use to do the sharing so the question went for that to ask how much does the eldest child receive so the eldest child is going to take the biggest ratio so all we're going to do is to multiply the biggest ratio because um, the question said the eldest child by this 1200 so we're going to have 5 multiplied by this 1200 from here which is going to give us of uh, 6,000 Naira. So this is how much the elder child is going to receive, 6,000 Naira, in the ratio of 5. Number 12 read, the trader bought a generator for 150,000 Naira and sold it for 180,000 Naira, then find the profit percent. To find the profit percent, the first thing we need to do is to get the actual profit. And to get that, we need to deduct 150,000 Naira from 180,000 Naira because 150,000 is the cost of generator, while the 180,000 Naira is the money a trader sold the generator out. So to do that, we're going to have 180,000 minus the actual cost, which is 150,000 Naira. It's going to give us 30,000. So therefore, the profit is going to be 30,000. But the question says we should find the profit percent, the percent. So in the percent now is going to be this profit, we're going to divide it by the cost of the generator, then multiply it by 100 because they were asked to find the percent. So what are you going to have? So the profit is 30,000 Naira divided by the actual cost, which is going to be 150,000 Naira then we multiply it by 100. Now this zero is going to cancel the zero. This zero is going to cancel the zero. This is going to cancel. This is going to cancel. So we are left with 300 divided by 15, which is going to give us 20%. So therefore, 20% is the answer to this question. Question number 13. The mean of five numbers is 18. If four of the number are 10, 15, 20, and 25, find the fifth number. So if you remember, to find the mean of the number, we sum all the number divided by how many times the number appear. But in this case, the mean is already given as 18. And out of this fifth number, four of the number is given Why the fifth one is missing. So to interpret this equation, you know, to get mean is to sum all the number divided by how many times the number appear. So what we're going to do is to sum up all these number, including the missing one. So the first data that is given is 10, then plus 15, then plus 20, then plus 25. This is the fourth number that is given. Then the fifth one is missing. So we can say plus X, which is unknown. Then divided by how many number? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Divided by 5, which is going to give us 18. So this is how to interpret this equation. The mean of five number is 18. So these are the five number. And to get the mean is to sum all the number divided by how many times the number appear. So all we're going to do is to look for the unknown because the question also we should find the fifth number. The fifth number that will be here that will make everything to be balanced. So what do we do? So first of all, let's plus all the constant we have in the left hand side. So we're going to have 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25. Is going to give us 70. 17 plus x over 5 is going to give us 18. Now we need to just do cross multiplication. Here we have 70 plus x is equal to 5 multiplied by 18 is going to give us 90. 
so what do we do next we just collect the like term so here is going to remain x which is going to be equal to 90 and when we take this 70 to the right hand side become negative 70 so x now will be equal to 90 minus 70 is going to give us 20 so therefore the fifth number that will be here to make everything balanced is going to be 20. So question number 14, we are asked to solve for x in this equation. So x minus 7 is equal to 15. So this one is just a bonus question. So this is linear equation. So we are given that what? 2x minus 7 is equal to 15. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this constant negative 7 to the right hand side. We're going to have 2x equal to 15. Then when this negative cross is going to become positive. So we're going to have 2x equal to 15 plus 7 is going to give us 22. Then to get the value of x, we just divide both sides by 2, which is the coefficient of x. So that this 2 is going to cancel this 2. x now will be equal to 22 divided by 2 is going to give us 11. So therefore, 11 is the value of x. Question number 15 reads, if the perimeter of a square is 48 centimeter, find its area. So we're asked to find the area of this square. Where the perimeter is equal to 48 centimeter so first thing we need to do is to recall the formula for area of a square so area of a square is equal to side square we just take one side and we square it is going to give us the area but how are we going to get our side from this equation so first of all let's keep this formula aside now recall that the perimeter uh the perimeter of a square is equal to 4 multiplied by side. So we multiply 4 by side of the square because all the side of the square are the same. We just pick 1 and multiply it by 4. Now from the equation, the, the perimeter is given as 48 centimeters. So we need to substitute here to find our side. So the, in place of perimeter, we're going to replace 48 centimeter from the equation, which is going to give us 4, 4 multiplied by side is the same as 4 side. Now, to get side, let's divide both sides by 4 in order to eliminate this 4. So, we divide the left hand side by 4, the right hand side by 4. So, that this 4 is going to cancel this 4. Then, side now will be equal to 48 centimeter divided by 4 is going to give us 12 centimeter. So, from here, we have get the value of side. Now, we need to substitute to the formula of area. So, therefore, area now will be equal to side square, which is going to be the same as 12 centimeter square so 12 square is going to give us 144 10 centimeter square so therefore the area of this square given the perimeter 48 centimeter is 144 square Question number 16 read a car covers 240 kilometer in four hours how long will it take to cover 360 kilometer at the same speed so first thing we need to do is to get a speed since we are going to use the same speed to find the 360 kilometer we are going to first get the speed of a car that cover 240 kilometer in four hours so to do that the first thing we need to recall is the formula for speed which is going to be equal to distance over time so and from the first little part of the equation as you can see a car cover 240 kilometer in four hours so the distance the car cover is going to be 240 kilometer then divided by time in four hour so if you divide 240 kilometer by four hour you are going to have 60 kilometer per hour so this is the speed and we're going to use this the same speed to find 360 kilometer at the same time but remember if you look at this question the question is saying how long will it take so we're going to look for the time it will take to cover 360 kilometer at the same speed so what do we do we need to recall the formula for time because of the how long so time is given as was distance all over speed so as you can see the distance that we are looking for is 360 kilometer then divided by the speed so we're going to use the speed which is 60 kilometer per hour called the question c we should use the same speed so when we do the divisions 360 kilometer divided by 60 so this zero is going to cancel the zero kilometer will cancel kilometer 36 divided by 6 is going to give us six hour 
So this is the time it will take to cover 360 km at the same speed of 60 km per hour. So question number 17 read, we are asked to simplify 5 over 6 minus 2 over 9. So this is just a subtraction of fraction. So this one is just a bonus question. So we are asked to simplify 5 all over 6 minus 2 over 9. So the fastest way to do this without finding the LOCM is to do what? Is to first of all cross multiply. 9 multiplied by 5 is going to give us 45. And before, because we are subtracting, you put minus. Then we do this multiply again. 6 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 12. Then everything over, then we multiply the two denominator. 6 multiplied by 9 is going to give us 54. So this is going to be equal to 45 minus 12 is going to give us 33 over 54. And we can still break this fraction because 3 can go into both the numerator and the denominator. 3 into 33 is going to be 11 over 3 into 54 is going to be 18. So this is the answer to this question. Question number 18 which the price of a phone is reduced from 50,000 Naira to 45,000 Naira. Find the percentage decrease. So what you need to know in this equation, the actual money is 50,000 Naira before it decreased to 45,000 Naira. And we're asked to find the percentage decrease. Before we find the percentage, we need to even know the actual money that is decreased. So to do that, we need to uh, subtract this 45,000 Naira minus the actual cost. So we're going to have 50,000 Naira, which is the actual cost, then minus 45,000 Naira which is going to give us 5,000 Naira. So this is the decrease. But we're asked to find the percentage decrease. So to find the percentage decrease, is going to be this decrease amount divided by the actual cost, then we multiply by 100 because it's in percentage, right? So to do that, we're going to divide this 5,000 Naira divided by what? 50,000 Naira, which is the actual cost then multiply it by 100. When you hear percentage, just note that we're going to do multiply by 100, right? So what do we do? We just simplify to get our answer. So this uh, zero is going to cancel this zero. Uh, I think this one is going to cancel this. This is going to cancel. Then one of this is going to cancel this. We're left with just 50 divided by five, which is going to give us 10. So therefore, 10% is the actual percentage decrease question number 19 read if the probability of an event happening is 0 0.4 what is the probability of it not happening so all we need to recall in this question is one minus probability of failure is going to be success so from here we are given that the probability of success that the probability the event will happen is 0 0.4 and to get the probability of event not happening is going to be one minus probability of success so therefore to get the probability of the event not happening from this question is going to be one minus the probability which is 0 0.4 and one minus 0 0.4 is going to give us 0 0.6 and if the option is given in percentage 0 0.6 when we convert it to percentage is going to be 60 percent so depends on the one that is given in the option question number 20 which a man earns 60,000 Naira monthly. If he spends 35% on rent, how much is left? Now, to solve this kind of question, the first thing we need to do is to even know the actual 35% of 60,000 Naira. So when we know that, so we just deduct it from the actual money the man earns monthly. So to do this, we're going to first find 35% of the actual money he earned, which is 60,000 Naira. So 35% of 60,000 Naira is going to be the same as 35 divided by 100. Then you multiply it by 60,000. Uh, so what do we do? This is going to cancel this. Then this zero is going to cancel this zero. So we are left with just 35 multiplied by 600, which is going to give us 21,000 Naira. So this is the 35% of 60,000 Naira. So what we're going to do? So we're going to deduct this 21,000 Naira from the actual money. So we're going to have 60,000 minus 21,000 Naira, which is going to give us 39,000.
thousand naira. So the thirty one thirty nine thousand naira is going to be the money that is left from sixty thousand naira after spending thirty five percent. So this is how to answer this question.